have uh, adopted Android as our platform of choice. So we're able to take advantage of all the people doing Android ecosystem enablement, and we're just building the best hardware in the world to really make Android shine. We have chips that are je just as uh, power efficient as everyone else. Um, at the same time, they're faster. In Traditionally, or in the past, Intel produced chips that were more targeted towards speed than power efficiency, but it was a choice. It wasn't something fundamental. Our uh, 32 nanometer Medfield SOC that we're introducing this week is just as good as anything else on the market in terms of power, and uh, from, a, from a performance standpoint, it really shines at many tasks. Certainly on standby time, we are uh, well within shouting distance of best in class. Um, on some of the web benchmarks, we, we smoke the competition. Um, in some cases, we're two, three, four, five times faster on some benchmarks. There are some we don't do as well on, but, but honestly, uh, when, with, a, with a Medfield based phone in your hand, the user experience is phenomenal. There's, there's no downside, there's only upside. So we've actually done three things. Uh, the first thing we've done is we've really highly optimized Android to work on in the Intel instruction set. And we have a, a fantastic army of very talented engineers and we've worked closely with Google and we think we have a very optimized port of, of Android. The second thing we've done is we've taken, uh, we have a group at Intel that has traditionally gone out and worked with uh, PC software manufacturers or PC software developers to optimize their applications. We've now turned that group loose on the Android ecosystem. So we're actually helping people who you know, they have apps, they work fine, but we found in our testing we could make them faster or make them better. We're actually kind of helping, you know, raise all the boats in the Android ecosystem by enabling those people to have a better product. The third thing, and we'll be talking about this in our keynote today, which is pretty special, is we will actually be shipping some Intel technology that will let applications developed for other hardware run on our platform without modification. So essentially the user shouldn't and won't have to care what the app was written for. It, for the most part, it will just run. Angry Birds. You can download. You'll be able to download it off the Android market uh, the minute someone ships an Intel-based phone, and without modification, it will run. We made some announcements back in the fall with with Google in partnership that uh, Intel, the Intel architecture is now a first-class citizen as far as as Google is concerned. So as Google comes out with new releases of Android, it's our full expectation that the uh, Intel architecture version will be released simultaneously. So there shouldn't be uh, a time lag between the availability of the various ver flavors of Android. Um, we will be doing all of the enablement work so that our partners can almost have a seamless experience getting their products to market. And in fact, what we've been doing is actually producing what we're calling reference de devices or reference designs. It's almost doing it a disservice by calling it a reference design because it's not simply just something that sort of works. Um, it actually fully passes the Google compliance test suite and we're putting it through carrier certification. So for all intents and purposes, you could sell this as a phone tomorrow. We are working with partners to uh, bring their products to market. And in fact, we're giving them this design. We're basically telling people here is a phone that's essentially ready to go ship it as is, modify it yourself, but we are really helping people get a jump start you know, to get their products out the door. We're pretty flexible. We, we want to enable a, a broad horizontal ecosystem of people using our chips in, in mobile devices. Um, we've produced one, so this reference design has an eight megapixel camera. The chipset supports up to 16 megapixel cameras. It's up to the vendor, it's up to our partner to pick what parts go into their designs, and we will help them with that. Um, I think it's great to have an ecosystem of a wide variety of devices, but no, we're not dictating what people have to ship. We are producing what we think uh, is a very optimized version of Android for our product, and we're doing a reference design that has a, a battery in it that gives you, you know, more than all day battery life, and, and we think people will largely adopt what we've done, but it's really up to them. You know, we believe that you, the user experience is what the end game is all about, and that to, have a different, to, to really differentiate your product in the market, you have to do something better or different. Um, and different isn't just a spinny 3D globe UI or some sort of tacky eye candy. It's something that fundamentally makes the user experience better. So we are investing a large amount of money and resources in helping our partners produce something truly differentiated in the future. So stay tuned, we're not announcing it here. Hey, this is NFC Today. So this product, it's, I mean, it's, it's a product, it's a reference device. It's less than 10 millimeters thick, including an NFC coil. So, I mean, uh, and you know, it's, it's an, this is a no, ex and, a, and a HDMI port for that matter. This is a no excuses smartphone. It's, it's less than 10, mil 10 millimeters thick. It's fully buzzword compliant. It has every bell and whistle and sensor that's in every other modern smartphone, including an HDMI connector. The uh, chipset supports full 1080p video. So let me go ahead and uh, turn that on and I'll enter my pin. And what you see is, this is Android gingerbread. We have ice cream sandwich running, but obviously since it was released 
recently, Gingerbread is, is uh, much more highly optimized at this point. Full sets of applications. Uh, in here, unfortunately, there's ver the network is a little spotty, but that was just over, over the 3G network. As you see, app launched and quick times are very good. Um, go ahead and let's play Angry Birds kind of as is. So this is just downloaded off the Android Marketplace. And of course, you have to go through the three or four levels of uh, screens before it actually will play the game, but you get the idea. It's, uh, it's an application that was actually not modified for the Intel architecture. It's a native ARM application, and what you'll see here is it plays well and there's no performance penalty. You know, a lot of the great, the great things that we put into sort of the Migo experience um, has now migrated over to what's being called Tizen, which is, a, which is the, the, the new version of uh, the open source operating system that, that Intel is, is in partnership with and is creating a community around. But a lot of that work, there's no reason why can't, we can't take the best pieces of that and integrate that in with our Android offerings that our partners then ship. Um, it, you know, the nice thing about Android is that one, the ecosystem already exists and it's an open source platform. We have the full source code. There's no reason why we can't do things, you know, add capabilities to our flavor of it and still we can still also maintain Google compatibility at the same time. I'm not necessarily a big fan of, of layers, only because you're constantly chasing the Android ecosystem or the Android releases. You know, you put out a layer, Android comes out with Android, you know, the next version, your layer breaks. I actually think that it's, uh, again, my personal opinion is that it's a much better idea to figure out how you expose new capabilities and new features through the existing APIs so that the existing uh, features work better and run better on you know, our hardware, but without having to kind of resort to what I call eye candy, which you know, you're constantly chasing Google to you know, fix as they break it accidentally as they go forward with their new versions of Android. So I think we can be much smarter about the way we provide that differentiation to users.